I don't know. Some people view it differently. I, I have my own opinion on the Paul brothers. But as you as someone who takes the sport very seriously, obviously been training a very long time, how do you view and what, do you, what are your thoughts on those who use social media to promote a persona as opposed to those who are really in the gym putting in the work and preparing like you are? Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably I'm probably one of the few that uh that believe Jake Paul good for the sport. Like I, I think I think he's good for the sport. I really do. Um, he bringing a lot of eyes to the sport. He bringing you know a whole fan base that probably would never acknowledge the sport or even look over here if it wasn't for for them and stuff like that. So, um, he's putting a lot of eyes, like I said, on the sport and and, and people people being able to get looked at and and being able to get the credit that they, that they finally deserve. You know, um. Having a man that's a Randall now, you know, playing on his cards and stuff like that, getting getting a huge payday to what she used to get paid, and you know, just trying to elevate, you know, the purses of the boxes and trying to, you know, show everybody how, you know, fighters fighters should be getting paid more than they get paid, you know, a lot more. They they put their life on the line, and um, I feel like I feel like he great for sport. I really do. So so hold on now, if if he came down to a catch weight of one thirty, would you step in the ring with Jake Paul? And if Harry. you did, what is going down? What's happening? Oh yeah, hell yeah! I, I'm 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 definitely I'm definitely fighting Jake Paul, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm being a breaks off of him, and I'm getting and I'm getting probably the biggest payday I'm gonna ever get in my life. So we we <laughs> sign that contract right now. <laughs> Cause my my whole thing with with Jake Paul is you know and I don't have a problem. Listen, you know we're big advocates of people getting to the bag. However you get it, as long as you're doing it legally. I, let me just specify. As long as you get it legally, we support anybody that's getting the bag. But my thing with Jake Paul is, is that he hasn't actually fought any like a real boxer, somebody who's actually you know training like you're training year round. You know what I mean? The closest thing. Would have been Tyson Fury's uh, brother, but obviously that didn't happen, and now he's gonna be fighting Woodley. Um, so, but do you do you feel like he he does he he re really respects the sport because I feel like he's always looking for an edge in every fight that he's going into so that he can get the easy win. I feel, I feel like he respects it. Um, I've I've been around people that you know been in his camp and stuff like that out in Puerto Rico and stuff, and they tell me that he trained like a real boxer, you know, that he trained like a real like a real fighter and. You know, he got a whole training camp in PR where he's training every day, you know, seven days, six, seven days a week. You know, he he's really taking it serious from what I hear. And um, I mean, that's that's all I can go by is, is you know, what, what I see and what I hear. I don't really know him personally, but it looked like he's taking the sport serious, though. I mean, it, it really do. Well, Eric, we're gonna have to see if we can get get that fight to go down on real fans, real talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if I mean if we're able to somehow, you know make a call we're gonna make it happen for you man we, we we'll you know what i'm saying go get that bag brother 